So as I spread the joyous tenants of Screw You Australia to Australia, I have to decide whether or not I'm going to keep these guys into the game. They have incredibly low culture and my tourism output to them is pretty intense. So keeping them in the game is not the worst idea actually. Like, they don't have any grievances with me. Weirdly enough, they have zero grievances with me. They don't like me, but I, I mean, that's only minus 26. I've come back from worse diplomatic relationships than that. We, we, I mean, in theory, as long as we kind of pin Australia in and stop them from really spreading too much on the continent, we don't mind them actually staying into the game. I've got Himiko. She's massively helping me just sort of get my city-states back because uh, I want to be friends with all of these things. If I can't make friends with them, I might as well kill them because I'm just incredibly cruel. But I think for the moment, this is okay. This is okay. We need four era score in three turns. We should get a minimum of two, but I can also build a boat, don't forget. The boat is my is my trick here. If I, if I build a boat, we should be absolutely fine. I also have just realized that apprenticeship was way down this tree that requires all of this stuff, so yeah, whoopsie. I mean, admittedly, I don't think I even needed military engineering. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. There's construction. Actually, construction was really important for me. I did need that one, but engineering is really cheap as well. How come I've got such a glut of science? That's a weird one. Should we get aqueducts in? Aqueducts are, are good builds for us, but we don't need them just yet. But I could use the era school. No, construction. I think we should stick on what we need, actually. Oh, no, it is engineering we need. It is engineering we need, but I could get construction to get lumber mills up. That is a really important one for me because I've got so many woods that need improving. Okay. Oh God, I'm full of distractions. I know, I know. I'm just, I can't settle on anything, but it's just, it's just who I am. Oh, another hero. Boy, this time. Okay, this is good. He's good. He can put bonus resources down, which would help produce some amazingly good hands. I've just realized, look at that nighter there. Oh, that is amazing. Arkan. I think actually it's got to think about getting a, a government plaza in soon. But I need to improve the food to this city first. That's going to be important for me. Okay, selling some horses to Australia. I like to let them think that they have an army. It's not much of an army, but it is some army. And then Galley. Look at that. Era score. Wonderful. We just need a little bit, one more era score uh, in one turn. Hmm. Actually, that could be a little bit of an issue. That could be a little bit of an issue. Oh, Akkad, have I got Akkad back on side now? No? Uh, that would give me bump. It helps to get them on side. So I think now they are. Yes, I could levy the military. No, levying military is an expensive way to get era score. Let me just think about this. Okay, it's a painful use of faith because I was saving my uh, faith to get my heroes back. But I can just purchase in a great merchant which would give me extra trader capacity which is a fantastic thing for my empire so yeah let's do that there we go that gives me three of us got we've got plenty now uh, I, I just don't want to risk I probably would have been fine. I probably would have been absolutely fine because I do get the era score, I think, at the beginning of the turn before it switches over. But you don't want to take that risk, do you? <laughs> I mean, it's just it's just so likely that it's going to screw me over if it can. So we'll we'll just we'll just ignore that for now. Actually, I'm going to get a water mill, build it normally and let's go for engineering quickly. Oh, and how often does that get ruined? Oh, damn it. OK, I can't put it there. Right, we're going to get the hands are here then. And then I'll put the map tack and put the commercial hub there. I think that's really annoying, but yeah, that's all I'm going to be able to do, really. Blah. Okay, my capital is just repeatedly being flattened now. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This is no fun. This is no fun, but that's okay. A new era, what is it? Uh, zero population loss, but loads of fertility gain. All right. Actually, I guess I'll take that. That's not too bad. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's good. We're now suzerain with all three city-states, which is great. It's helping me just to recover from my negative penalty that I've got having taken over Australia's capital. Uh, sorry, not Australia's capital, the Cammons capital. I keep forgetting the Cammons even were in the game. Okay, that is the trade route capacity. Beautiful. Okay, that means I can get another trade into Aachen. I think that is the city that's going to get me the most gold. Yeah, it is. I'm going to go to Divine Right quickly. I think Reformed Church... Actually, Reformed Church is really easy to get to, so let's just do that. Medieval Fairs. Maintain four trade routes. 
I'm probably not going to do that in time actually. I've got one market being built uh, and there's a commercial hub here again. I'm not going to do that in time. I may as well just force it through. Jump on the city centre buildings. That's lovely. And then I'm going to just vote for Islam because probably someone will end up voting for that more than me. So we'll just see if we can do that one. Mega Colossal Eruptions. Oh my goodness, there's so many eruptions going on. Oh no! Look at that! People voted for my religion. Okay. They want it to be stronger. Sure. Well, city centre buildings are now quicker anyway, which is which is a good thing. Oh my goodness, Perth is... I think Perth just got erupted on quite badly there. You know what, I think I do like the idea of having this continent to myself. So let's just use Himiko's rule and then we'll bring her down next turn. I think I am going to go to war with Australia. It's only right. Nobody's met me yet. It's quite a good time to, to just have a little bit of fun. No, we don't like military emergencies. No one's met me, so I mean, Australia has actually declared a military emergency against me. Again, they declare war on me. They declare war on me. That is silly. Like, I mean, honestly, why would you do that? It's so stupid. Because now I just get to attack them to basically start the contest. And also, they don't get their devil production. So, I mean, honestly, I don't know what they're thinking. I did just manage to lose a swordsman, but unfortunately that was their only chance. Because now Himiko is here, she's providing plus 10 combat strength to all of my adjacent units, plus my two swordsmen now have crusading bonuses in the land. So that was it. That was your opportunity. You mucked up. Very sorry about that, Australia, but you're just not gonna... That's not gonna work for you now. You're out of the game. You had an opportunity, and you lost it. Yeah, look, they're just throwing themselves at my swordsman now. It's not gonna work. Not gonna work. He's too strong. He is too strong. Uh, in fact, actually, he could just pillage, get a little bit of health, but no, I'm gonna move forward, give you tortoise, make him incredibly difficult to kill. Actually, they're finishing the Great Lighthouse for me. That's really kind of them. I'm actually quite happy about that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, they're attacking my archer. Okay, the archer died pretty quickly. Again, nice, none of these units are mine, so I don't really mind if they die. He says incredibly callously, but it's true. There's a catapult. Bam. Um, do I want to steal the gold? I mean, the gold is quite good, actually, but I'd rather take the walls down first. And bam, walls are down. Lovely. Let's just quickly go and scale round and see if we can get into their grill from another direction. And look, more reinforcements as well. It's uh, taking a long time. Oh, look, why don't you just go through the great and... Ugh. He actually decided to go round a volcano instead of taking out a great general who would have died immediately. I mean, honestly, what is what are their problems? I don't know. I've got no idea what's going on. At any rate, we're finally getting some really high caliber builders in now. I've been trying to get builders together to be able to improve all of my lands really quickly, but it's been a problem. I've been trying desperately to get the production into these cities. We are getting there, slowly, but it is taking time. More heroes. I need to actually just spend the time getting those heroes, actually, if I can. Um, this swordsman is proving a real problem. We are just the barbs! The barbs are everywhere. They're everywhere. They're not letting go. They are not letting up. It is brutal, but it's okay. We'll continue to fight. Just gonna unlock the Alchemical Society building. I can't do it yet, but when I do get it, it's a brilliant building. Uh, okay, yeah, that catapult is easily doing the damage now. You know what, I am just gonna keep the pressure on, see if we can just take the city. I think it's more important than looting at this point. All right, okay, we've got double barbs on us now. This is getting a little bit frustrating. You need to stop attacking me. Or I need to get a hero in to come deal with them. I think getting a hero in is probably an easier option, actually. Although I could start getting merchants in. I could get Imhotep in. Imhotep is a fantastic hero. Uh, sorry, a uh, great gen, a great engineer. Great engineer. If, I could, if the mausoleum is still available, yes, it is. Mausoleum is still available. So there are some brilliant classical wonders I could pick up. Hmm. So no, we'll see. Anyway, I think Australia's out of the game now. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. We don't have to deal with them. And we've got no grievances. No one minds. Nobody even knew they existed. I automatically win a religious emergency. That's that's just really... Oh, no, military emergency. Oh, I get... I get... I get, um... What would you call it? Uh, diplomatic favour. Anyway, so that's good. That's good. 
it's really good. Just using some faith now. Look at this, I've got um, extra heroes coming in. I could actually see if I can, I mean, do I have a... Uh, I'm looking for cities that haven't done devotions. 45 turns of map devotion. You know, getting more heroes at this point until I get the um, great, uh, my, my industrial zones together. I don't think there's much point in doing this. I'm actually going to use all of this recruited army as well. If it's city-state, I'm just going to let it explore. If it's mine, I'll keep it in my territory. But um, I don't actually need it to do anything at the moment, so I might as well just go and, and let it loose on the world. Everything's erupting, everything's on fire, but I do have reformed church, which is wonderful. So let's just quickly pick up this. Lovely, we can use our faith more effectively now. That also gets me, uh, as you can see, I just picked up um, a Wajima call it. <laughs> Oh, castles. That's what I'm looking for. My mind is gone today. I am just all over the shop. Right, Merchant Confederations gave me a whopping 20 gold per turn. So combined with three Inquirer, which has got both science and gold for me, it's I'm, I'm getting some good combos here. I'm going to stick together feudal contracts because I'm building a, lump, a bunch of, of um, uh, archers. And I also need discipline because at the moment barbs are killing me drastically absolutely flaying me alive. Let's get Apprenticeship. As soon as I can get the Hansa districts down, I'm going to be happy. And Imhotep, I'm, I'm just two turns off being able to pinch him. That's what I want to do in this scenario. Look, Archer, Archer, Archer. There are too many barbs here. They are proving too much of an issue for me. I can't improve any of this land. I need to settle. Um, I need to start settling. And once I've got the um, uh, Hansas up everywhere, I'll be able to produce settlers a lot quicker than I'm currently doing right now. So I'm, I'm kind of like holding fire a little bit. I'm building lots of builders in the meantime, just getting lots of these mines together just to improve my production. Um, but I'm, yeah, I'm, as I say, Canberra just got flayed alive by a volcano. So that's not a great thing. But I'm going to build the mausoleum in Canberra. I think that's actually a really good place to build it. In the meantime, I'm just getting my capital area ready to be sort of chopped down and I'm just getting rid of the resources on the tiles I'm going to build over just helps me to, to sort of keep the production nice and high. Oh, the population in Hiddelberg is not doing well. Just waiting for industrial zones. I am my, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing absolutely great after I pick these things up. Oh, and I finally met the Ottomans. Okay, right. Now we make friends with people on the new continent. Hooray. Um, we'll actually just see whether they like me or not. First impressions. Right, okay, right. So we're going to struggle to make friends with them immediately. But you can see I'm doing so well compared to them we should be able to just like tempt them tempt them into friendship one two three give me all your gold for these resources um actually that's a pretty good deal they may even like me for that deal favorable trade deal so that's plus six plus nine plus twelve against minus thirteen we could actually make friends with the ottomans if we if we treat them to some more stuff so if i give you 20 of the finest iron they can't actually trade enough for it they haven't got enough, so does that give them... That's still a plus six. Let's try giving them some horses. It's unlikely to be worth anything. Nope, still plus six. Let's try giving them a little bit more iron. I just need that to go to plus ten. Nope. Fine, we'll give you some nitre. Does nitre work? Uh, yes, it does. Okay, now we should be able to be friends with the Ottomans. I hope. He sees the mark of evil on me, but look, he hasn't gone... He doesn't hate me off the bat, which is exciting. The Ottomans actually have less tech than I do. I'm on 23 tech compared to them. I should start getting some tourists with the Ottomans though pretty quickly if I can just send them a trade route. Uh, yeah, we're going to find loads of their cities now. There you go. There's Imhotep. Boom. That's a nice pickup. Oh, there's a significant blizzard, but actually it's helping me to defeat barbarians. It just killed at least one of them over in this direction, which is nice. This, uh, okay, right. We've got a real archer problem over in this direction. If I can keep you safe if I attack you. Bam, bam. Okay. My god, there are a lot of barbarians. Um, actually, we need a bit more city strength, actually. Otherwise, we're going to get wrapped up and killed. Anchor what? Can you treat us to a higher powered unit? 41 strength? 44 strength? Corsa might be quite good, actually. Uh, pains me to spend this much gold on, on an armed unit, though. I could get a swordsman. 36 strength. That would help a little bit. Um, yeah, that's the cheapest option. So we're going to do that. That gives me a little bit more combat strength in that city. Not a huge amount, but just enough. There we go. Apprenticeship. We are in the fun stages of the game now. Now, Imhotep is going to double that production towards the mausoleum. There you go. Two turns. That is wonderful. 
We like that a lot. Well, this this freaking quadrarium is causing me grief. But Hansa district. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to go and pot down all of my Hansa districts that I was going to start to do. And basically, it's it's kind of an order of, of it doesn't matter what my city's building, I'm prioritizing the Hansas because that's what's going to be the most important thing to do once we are all up and running. Even these cities here, these these ones need Hansas and they need them quick. Yeah, you may you may see a theme here. Literally Hansas everywhere. It is the most important thing I can do. The other important thing I need to do is go towards universities now. So uh, machinery will help massively. That will help me put crossbows in my uh, barbarian wooden cities up to the north. Here we go. My archers are now fueled with the power of Himiko. Oh yeah, this is good. This is better. This is better. Um, I can now just move you out a little bit and strike. Okay, we're doing big damage now. So there's the mausoleum. Nice. Okay, that's great. I do need to just throw some ancient walls up here, which is just embarrassing. Oh dear, dear, dear. I think I might trip myself to the Colossus, actually. The Colossus is the best idea that I've got. As I say, Imhotep specializes in older wonders. And those wonders are pretty, pretty good. These, I mean, these barbs up north are hilariously bad. <laughs> but Himiko being here does help massively. Um, we should be able to chuck a little bit of strength at them now. Um, okay, I'm just going to let, as I say, let them come to us. We don't need to rush out to meet them. That is absolutely fine. I can also treat myself now to a crossbow upgrade, which does make a bit of a difference. So let's just do that quickly. Convert you to a crossbow as well. Do you think it gives the city strength a little bit more? Well, it gives me more ranged attack with the city. That's good. Um, okay, and I'm just going to move you to there and then skip you over to this city. Okay, good. Now we've got machinery. Stirrups, I think, is the next best thing for us. Okay, I'm focusing first on the crossbows. The crossbows are the most annoying units for me. Um, Himiko actually is not as useful there as I thought she would be. Let's just convert you. But the crossbows are the ones that can hit me without any retaliation, so I don't like them. Those, they suck. First hands of oak, just rushed it with a rainforest clearing. Ah, wonderful. Unfortunately, this is one that actually gives me zero production, but I've got an aqueduct being built that should speed that up pretty quickly. So that's all good. Another mega colossal eruption. Doesn't matter how many times I fix this city, it just keeps getting broken. Oh my goodness, it's painful, that one. So there's one crossbow attack, that helps massively. Give a little bit more production in this city. As you can see, uh, the hands are starting to get built now, um, which is good. Is this city? Oh no, that one can't be built anymore because it's being killed. Get off my hands, uh, thank you. Oh, literally just went off again. I mean, the tiles around here are insane, which is fantastic. Perth is, um, is a little bit on fire. Just a little bit on fire, but you know, like a manageably small amount on fire. Oh look, the barbs have a bombard now. Isn't that fun, eh? Isn't that just terrifically fun? Actually, luckily for us, the barbs can't decide which city to attack. So we should be able to clear these guys all the way pretty quickly. In fact, actually, oh yeah, the bombard moved rather than attacking me, so that that works nicely. I've got this poor swordsman just in the middle of all the cities who's doing its best, bless it, to kind of like distract and occupy people, but ugh, he's being flayed alive by lots of different people at once here. Ah, uh, hands up. Okay, look at that. Lovely. Oh, look, the barbs now come down to my capital. Isn't that great? Isn't that just delightful? I'm just going to treat myself to a... Oh, no. I can't be bothered with a crossbow. That's just so expensive. But I need it. Uh, actually, walls. Let's just get walls up quickly. My troops really are passing by. Like, what? I think they're just scout. Oh, come on. It's one catapult and one galley. Admittedly, exploring the catapult is slightly left of field. I do understand that. But still, don't be like that. It's clearly not what's going on here. Okay, we've killed both bombards. That is a great thing. Let's just kill all these crossbows. The crossbows, for me, are the worst of a bad bunch. Um, I'm just going to move Himiko over as well. There you go. We're clearing. Slowly but surely we're clearing. Wonderful. The hands are really starting to get built now. Look at this. Got a lovely plus seven, plus three. Oh yes. Plus five and a plus six. I haven't even got anywhere close to having these in their full upgraded forms as well. 
we're doing good. We are doing absolutely swimmingly here. Okay, now we can start to, to move things around a little bit. Look at this, Craftsman, 36 production from that. 36 production, that is wonderful. Let's put this one instead of three inquiry for now. Urban planning gives me even more production, but I think I'll keep serfdom for now. Natural philosophy, is it better to keep natural philosophy? No, three inquiry is better than natural philosophy. So we'll, we'll switch phase over for, oh no, we'll just switch these over for now. There you go as it is. Okay, so I lose a little bit of science, but I gain a, a whole whoppingly large amount of production. Production is, of course, king in Civ 6. Which, to be fair, it's been king in pretty much all Civs. I don't think it's just Civ 6, really. Oh, more production city-states, though. Isn't that great? There you go, Colossus. I think we do need Colossus into our empire. Uh, let's put it here just in the off chance that somehow I managed to actually get a uh, theatre square sort of next to it and there we go improved universities those are going to be really handy really really handy right metal casting I think first we should improve the strength of our cities a little bit oh a flood just actually killed the crossbow who was in my city that is um, highly annoying highly annoying let's try and build the colossus now three turns for the colossus that'll do oh my god look at that plus 10 a plus 10 hands up nice oh that's looking good that is looking handsome okay we just need to get ourselves a little bit more in the way of buildings here let's just infrastructure is what i need infrastructure everywhere just keep on building no imotep you do not need to do anything more you've done a great job all ready I could treat myself to Petra though. Why? Well, because Imhotep's here. Why else? Oh look, Marco Polo. Nice, he's actually really helpful and I can get more error score by buying him in. Delightful. Have I got a commercial hub in Arkin? No, I don't. I do not. Hmm, intriguing. Oh my goodness, the infrastructure is amazing. Just build me markets and workshops everywhere, please. Oh my goodness, that was a major flood that just took out like everything from these cities oh actually no there's not as much destruction as i thought there would be that is fine but oh my god and dams dams are so important now we've got to we've got to see if we can get dams up and running this is just nonsense how much people are dying in these cities fountain of youth in buenos aires oh my goodness we have so many city states here okay if if you ever needed reason to build the kilwa as germany which gives you the extra bonuses for um, having lots of city-states of the same type. This, this is a good example of that. Hang on. Uh, so I would get 15% boost to all cities on production when building buildings because I've got so many city-state friends. I mean, it is, it is quite clearly worth it, right? Petra, let's just quickly rush this. Look at that. Lovely. And I'm just going to start shoving roots into Arken because Arken is, is a really, really good city. Come on, ancient walls. Yeah, you need to be getting up. Oh dear, everyone is just dying, dying really quickly. Come on, please stop it. Well, that's another mega colossal eruption. Oh my goodness, everything is just on fire continually in this game. Why do people, I mean, honestly, why would you play? Why would you play with Apocalypse Mode on? It's just mental. Right, Aken, quickly get yourself the Alchemical Society. I think it's just any science we can get at this point is going to be massively helpful. I like the idea of having culture bombs, and I like the idea of duplicates of an amenity that I have lots of, which is tea. Let's go for tea. It's unlikely for tea to win, but we'll put four votes into it. You never know. Uh, no, that's not one. That's not one at all. No for Coco. I feel like people have screwed me over on that one, but never mind. Just having a quick, rapid repair of a bunch of these districts because everything is kind of on fire. But here we go. So what do we want to do? Um, I mean, we could go in any direction. I think mass production would be quite useful. That would get this Venetian arsenal. We quite like that. Should we do that? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, we like this. Instantly builds a university and a library in a district and universities provide more science. Yes, please. Okay, this is good. This is good. The swordsmen, we're finally breaking out. We are finally breaking out. Come on, we can go and take over that encampment now trying to build these little triangles of farms where I can even if they're not being worked necessarily at this point they do all help there's the chemical society this is the only other one I can pop Isaac in so I'm going to do that if I can 
another mega colossal eruption because of course it is everyone's erupting continually and wonder construction ah this is good that means i can get the kill wire in the city i'll be using uh him on that okay come on now right um these crossbows can now start to just inflict the pain a little bit we're gonna just keep pushing down keep pushing whilst at the same time there is a university district lovely gives me extra gold in these districts as well and a pike and shot that'll just help to increase the power of my city just a little bit oh himiko found a good time to disappear never mind we've got four of the most amazing heroic relics now and we can start picking up things like the art of war from suleiman who seems to be the only one collecting them at the moment lovely that'll do oh look at that plus 11 <laughs> oh those are some good looking hansa districts what I'm doing there is I'm just getting cities just to get a settler here and there just while I'm building all of these buildings through when they're ready to go because I'm starting now to settle into this uh, continent a little bit. I would like it if no barbarians could appear because I was everywhere. Do you know what I mean? Like I need I need to be sort of omnipresent on this continent so that nothing can spawn. That's kind of my my dream here. And boom. Oh thank goodness. I found a sanguine pact. No wonder those vampires, uh, the, the barbers were, were really tough. They're all vampires. Goodness me. That, I mean, that must have been the most horrifically difficult sequence of battles I have had to put up with for some time. But we got that. We did it with three of barbs. I just need to go and take out this encampment. And I'm going to go settle up in that area as well just to stop people from doing it. Oh my god. China, I'd love to meet you. Yes, 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 this is all good. The Ottomans are doing so well, actually. But they're, actually, no, they're doing well, but also terribly. But, um, yeah, we need to start spreading our tourism to people. And yeah, and China, I mean, they're not worthy of our... Well, we're not worthy of their friendship, apparently. But open borders, uh, which they'll pay for. Yeah, they'll pay a little bit for that. We'll see to that. Hermetic order. Yes, yeah, so they will be my friends, actually. That's pretty good. Would you like to buy my luxuries? Yeah, you would. Yeah, you would. Right, hang on. Would you like to buy some nitre as well? I'm willing to be the arms dealer onto their continent. Yeah, look at that, 33 gold per turn. China, we're going to be good friends. Exploration. Okay, let me just quickly check on my policy cards. I've got 67 production per turn coming in here. Free inquiries give me quite a lot uh, as well, so I can't complain about that one. Mandala State would give me the 16 culture per turn. That would be pretty cool if I could get that one. And feudal contract we don't need anymore. That is lovely. So conscription is good. Um, I quite like the movement plus one movement. We haven't got that yet, have we? We haven't got that one. So you know what? Limes. Let's stack up with that one. Discipline is doing good for us otherwise. Urban planning. No serfdom I prefer. Merchant confederation is doing great. Okay, you know what? Our policy cards are looking good. So we've got to kind of make a choice here. Do we dive down the science route and try and get a science victory? Or do we go down the culture route? I quite like to go down the culture route because our relics are looking crazy already. Um, and we can get more epics. They actually won't do it under any circumstances. Why not? Why not? I mean, I should be able to do that, surely. If I, move, I mean, I've got space for it, but they won't do it under any circumstances. Let me just have a double check. Why not? Offer blocking deal. Okay, right, we need to think about that one. But I think I might go culture. Although, saying that, I've actually gone hermetic order, haven't I? I've been, I've been kind of forced. Maybe we should go science. Let's try and go science. It's something I rarely do. Now I've got to decide, to be fair, where we start to settle. I'm going to go settle over in this direction near the coast, I think. Busy building a consulate in my capital. I'm actually getting a diplomatic center, diplomatic quarter for once. Makes a big difference for me. I normally just totally forget about them. And I think Buenos Aires sounds like a really good friend to have. So we'll just start shoving people in that direction. Here we go, there's the Kilwa. It's about to be finished. Now, is everybody in a golden age? Let's hope somebody goes into a dark age. China goes into a dark age. Interesting. There we go. That is interesting. So the Kilwa gives me a bunch more envoys, but as I say, 15% production to any city now that is working towards districts or buildings, which is just, oh, I can't tell you how good it is. It is just the best. It is so good. So, so good. So more envoys to give. I'm going to just steal Buenos Aires like that. And actually we're going to go, oh, no, one in Singapore. Lovely. We're discovering more people every day. 
Now, industrialization is where I need to head next with Germany. So we'll go, look, you can see banking, astronomy, uh, whatever this unrevealed tech is, that's the one I need to just double check on. But everything else is boosted, which is delightful. Monumentality, here we go. We can convert our faith into settlers, which I'm going to do quite nicely here. So we're just, we're just going to look in the areas where we can settle. Like all this area needs to be settled, but as a priority, this area down south. I think is where I want to be settling as well. So we will just send some settlers in that direction. Just gonna wait, however, until we can put Magnus in. I'm one turn away from being able to stick him into Sydney. Uh, and then we're gonna be getting ourselves extra builders when we settle, which is a lovely thing to do. Oh, Arkan just lost three population, I think. Okay, that's pretty brutal. Yeah, oh, painful, painful, like Magnus. Uh, where do I want to settle from? Do, 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 do. Sydney, I think, is probably a good place. To, I mean, really, is that kind of what I want to do? Heidelberg? Actually, I've got some space in Heidelberg at the moment, right? So let's just do this quickly. In you go. And what was I going to do? Uh, Sydney, yes, building a settler is really important, but quickly get an ancestral hall. Thank you very much. And let's just settle here. Oh, sprawling empire. Yep, I know. I know. We're fantastic. We need to stop settling though. I was literally just saying I need to wait until settling until I get the improvements, so I get the three builders, and then I just go and settle. I'm an idiot. Oh, one person I just refuse to listen to is me. Uh, no, we don't want a religious emergency. That is boring to us. We do want friends though. Why are you not being my friend? Not yet worthy. Oh, China. You're going to get really annoyed now because now you see they don't want friendship either. Come on. No, I don't want to get involved. These religious emergencies, they're just not worth my time, really. I'm just going to use some gold to get another admiral. Look at that. He, I can actually use to get another trader, which is lovely. Buenos Aires has been taken from me. Okay, that's that's to be expected. But Singapore, look at that. We're getting there. We are getting there. Well, this is quite fun. We can get Mont St. Michael. Okay, that gives all of my... Uh, apostles the martyr promotion and I can get tons of relics which would combine with my religion really nicely so you know what it's unexpected but I quite like it as an idea doesn't matter how many barbs I kill seemingly there's an infinite supply of them because there's another barb camp coming over from that northern area oh for goodness sake please stop one more city we are finally starting to settle like mad this is good Oh, I accidentally, I accidentally waited to the perfect possible time to settle there. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, I almost, almost bollocked that up. Saying that though, we're getting loads of great merchants and things. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, Magnus is going to be exciting. Uh, for every great person earned, ley lines received a yield equal to that district type. That's going to be fantastic when that does go down. Right, Moksha. I think I like the idea of going down to Patron Saint, so let's go for laying on hands first. Oh, what? now I found Johannesburg. Oh my goodness. Cities receive plus one production for every improved resource type. I've, I've, there are so many, so many industrial city-states on this map, it's mad. I love it. I love it so much. I mean, I'm tempted to believe that uh, the person on Discord who made this map probably I mean, I might be wrong, but they probably tweaked it so that they would all appear. Not that I am complaining at all. Right, now Magnus is finally done. So now, here come the settlers. Just jumping down the rainforest to build my hands. Let's look at this. Three settlers coming out of Heidelberg now. Oh, this is my favourite, favourite point of the game. The mid-game is it comes in and just... Oh, look, the double ley lines. Oh, there are some amazing opportunities on this map. This is great. I have to say, the Hermetic Order... I don't know if they're the best, but it's really good fun because some of the yields I am getting, look at the plus 10, there's a plus 11, plus 8, plus 8, plus 10, plus 7, plus 9, plus 5, oh, oh, I mean just om nom 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 nom, I love it, I love it so. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, and Matthew Wilkinson for all of your support on Patreon, as well as everybody else who likes the video, comments, joins Discord, and generally makes this community really good fun. Thank you very much, guys. You keep me going.